Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you our I'm gonna explain to you how our project works. So first our project title is automated solar energy harvesting and tracking system with browser based monitoring. And our objective obje objectives are Here's our objectives. <coughs> Design a system that tracks the sun's direction. Store the electrical energy into device like a chargeable battery. Monitor the current and voltage level. Levels of converted energy by the use of the microcontroller. Avoid possible interference while tracking the sun's direction. Create self-powered prototype. Maintain DC voltage. Gather data of ongoing power production and will be monitored through wireless browser-based application and data gathered will be represented graphically. Our project are composed of three parts. The harvesting part, the tracking part, and the monitoring part. In the harvesting part, this is where we collect the solar energy from the sun by the use of this solar panel it will the solar energy will convert to electrical energy and store it to the battery solar charger is this is, is this device is this is the controller of the in every voltage that the solar produces solar panel it will control the voltages that will charge to the battery and the inverter it is where it, it will convert the DC voltage to AC voltage. Tracking part. We use an Arduino or a microcontroller, three LDRs and a two servos, and also a solar panel. These three LDRs are attached to the solar panel. We use LDRs to to as a as a light sensors to to detect the brightest light of the sun so in every in every analog readings came from the LDR the Arduino the Arduino reads it and send it to the two servos to determine whether the solar panel go up go vertically or and horizontally so, LDR means light dependent resistor. So if if the average readings of these two two LDRs, the top left and the top right, has a lesser value than the bottom LDR, the Arduino reads it and send it to the vertical servo and to tell the servo to go upward and if the LDR at the bottom has a lesser value than the average of these two upper LDRs, upper LDRs the Arduino send the send data to the servo at a vertical servo and tell it tells it to go downward so and if the top right LDR has a lesser value than the as a laser analog readings then the then the top left the Arduino reads it and send it to the horizontal servo and tells the servo to go right and if the top left LDR has a lesser value than the right LDR the Arduino send the Arduino reads it and tells the horizontal servo to go left so this is how tracking part works so in the monitoring part we used voltage and current sensors to reach the voltage and current from the solar panel and another Arduino microcontroller and an, Ethernet, an Ethernet shield Ethernet shield this is where we connect the router so that we can view it in the monitor 
So, by the way, this is the server. This is where you can connect your your i your gadgets like cell phones, tabs, as long as you have a browser. So, use Ethernet Shield so that you can view it as long as you have a connection, a Wi-Fi connection anywhere but it is locally hosted locally locally hosted means you can connect it within a within within that router within one router so where, where the server connects it and local host with, with display this is where we can see the power production of our project and LCD display and also database or SD card so this is where we, we save our datas that we collected from the production so I'm done explaining the how our project part our project works so so let's go now to our working prototype. And here's our solar tracker. So it's now sensing the brightest light. So this is the the light sensor. So if you will try to cover this tries to it, it tries to tracks the, the brightest light Here's our microcontroller. We use this Duino, and we use temporarily a power supply because we haven't yet buy a battery. So sorry for the messy wires. So that's our solar tracker. Now, we're going to our monitoring part. So this is the another Arduino with the Ethernet shield that connects to our router. And this is the LCD display. So So it reads from the solar panel 8.9 volts, 0.40 amperes, 3.275 uh, watts, and 0.10 watt hour. So this is the readings from the solar panel. Now let's go to our local host display. This is it. This is our local host display. This is the solar power production monitoring. The blue one is the voltage. The red one is the current. And the orange one is the power. Automated solar energy harvesting and tracking system with browser based monitoring. So, 
8.1 volts 0.3 amperes 3.13 watts and 0.11 watt hour so this is the URL Okay, now I will use a phone to monitor my our solar power monitoring. As long as there is a Wi-Fi connection, so, use my phone. So, try to reload. Reload. And this is it. Method Solar Energy Harvesting and Tracking System with Browser Based Monitoring by Solar Boys. So it currently reads data. Sorry because it is blurred because I used another camera for this one. So there is the graph. And the readings voltage, solar voltage, solar current, power, and energy. So, so this is it.